What's up my CT Sounds dudes and ladies? I uh, got a brand new 10 inch uh, Tropo XL ready to come out of the box. Um, this is the 1000 watts RMS. And I got it in dual forum. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the 1000 watts RMS subwoofer that was just released. Uh, thank you Coleman. Super good price on these and they went fast. I'm pretty sure they're gone already but um, somebody had said they wanted to see a video of an unboxing and I apologize for my basement workspace obviously I have a lot of Adams polishes and other garbage down here too but um, so I just wanted to open this up show you guys what was inside got my surgical knife it's not actually a surgical knife that's what I call it so you have your first box and then inside your first box you get another box. Why? Because America. That's why. I'm going to just undo this. Make that be easier. So you guys can see it. Alright, so we got that one. These are beefy little subwoofers. I ordered four of them. I've already opened three of them. Two of them are in my uh, Jeep right now. up you got all your paperwork in here 10 percent discount it's got all the specs for the boxes that if you're going to build a box uh, or purchase one it's got all the specs for everything on here and then how to wire it which i thought this was awesome so coleman thank you for including this um, this is so much easier than having to google how to wire things all the time um, so this this came in handy and i very much appreciate the fact that you added this so thank you for that sir Without further ado, boom. Of course, I opened the box backwards. Yeah, I'm not going to turn that around. So these are packed in here pretty tightly, so we do have to finesse it a little bit to get it out. And it's going to get stuck inside the cardboard. Oh, look at the mess. Look at all the CT sound boxes, all the subwoofers amplifiers there we go okay all right well there she is let's go ahead and take her out of plastic yeah that is a beefy subwoofer Woo. that's nice so as you can see on the very bottom flip it around here it does tell you 1000 watts RMS dual 4 ohm which is nice because then you can wire two of these down to 1 ohm the only complaint that I have about the subwoofer only complaint is your wire terminals these are not very big because um, I wanted to run I think it's 10 gauge OFC wire because these can take a lot of power so I wanted to run that so if you're trying to wire two of these together and you need to try and cram two or three wire leads inside of here this is not enough space to do that but other than that that is my only complaint um, they do hit really hard so right now i got mine in my jeep on a ct uh, 1500 1500 d1 so it's running about 1500 watts rms um, and it pounds pretty good so I'll, I'll get some footage of that shortly but just wanted to show you guys a quick unboxing and actually what i originally had and i will bring the other subwoofer over here to compare it is i was going to run some of these scars right here still got some wires attached whatever I was going to run the scars, <sighs> uh, but these are dual 2 ohm, so I ordered the wrong ones, so I can only run these at 2 ohm, but these ones, the wire terminals, that's, that's the one thing I do like about these compared to the CT sounds, is the wire terminals are a lot bigger, so you can fit much more wire in there, but if you actually look at them, this battery comes down to like a little cone on the bottom, 
battery. This magnet comes on like a cone on the bottom. So the magnet on the CT sounds is actually thicker than the one on the SCAR. And uh, honestly, I like the design a little bit more of the CT sounds. I like this foam surround more than this one. This just looks kind of awkward. Uh, this one looks just a lot nicer in my opinion. And the best part about this one, compared to this one, is if you do end up purchasing a prefab box and you want to put these in a prefab, this will fit in a prefab box, whereas this won't because of the basket. You'll actually have to router out some of that because I did that earlier. So, But you will have to router out some of that box to get this basket to fit inside of the box. So comparison video, I guess. Um, but they're both 1,000 watts RMS, 2,000 watts max. Uh, but so far, these sound amazing in my Jeep. And I didn't listen to these yet because they won't run on as much power. And I did buy a SCAR Audio 2000 watt amp off of Amazon. It was bad out of the box. Sent it back to SCAR. Uh, they fixed it and sent it back and it's still not working. So that's the last thing I'm going to purchase from that company. So far everything else has been CT Sounds. And I will give you guys a short little... There goes tour. No, hold on. I got my GoPro on the chesty thing right now, so let me take that off real quick. All right, and also rocking the uh, keep calm to the base drops. So I got two 12 inch bios that I'm going to be putting inside this box. Uh, got a CT1000 right here, got a, another. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I'm sorry. I got two 18s. There's the other CT sounds one that I already opened. Two 18s. I got two more 12 inch bios in here. So I got four total. I got this delicious looking amp, the T1000. Got another one upstairs. So I'll leave that there for now. Um, yeah, anyway. So I'm going to reinforce this box to put in the uh, Tropo 10s, I think. So we'll see. And this definitely ain't gonna cut it either, this little plastic battery terminal. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to, I know this is a long video and I apologize. Coleman, you can deny this video if you'd like to. I know it's long, but I wanted to show an unboxing of the CT Sounds Tropo XL10. Um, yeah, and there it is compared to the SCAR. SCAR does sit up a little higher, but like I said, the magnet kind of goes down to a cone shape, whereas the, uh, the CT Sounds doesn't really do that. If I can line them up, you can see that the CT Sounds battery, or I don't know why I keep saying battery, the CT Sounds magnet is a lot thicker. Maybe not a lot, but it is thicker than the SCAR, uh, SCAR magnet. So, uh, anyways, hope you guys are having a, an awesome day. And enjoy this incredibly long eight and a half minute video more more footage to come I hope <laughs>